it's always so hard to can't think of something of the introduction of a video but thank you very much for clicking in uh, the very first video of this playlist this playlist is going to be something like a journal so if you're looking for educational stops and more you know easy to understand video this may not be the case but in this playlist i plan to you know do some tiny little projects and ultimately hopefully we can see a bigger picture of it or to achieve some just bigger project or something like that in this uh, current video i plan to scrape images from reddit which is about little and images going to be recently uploaded that's something new so this is uh, the aim of this video and well um, so just hope you guys enjoy it so on your left hand side you should see anaconda navigator over there and anaconda prom on your right hand side and also a tiny little text notepad uh, underneath it so um, the first thing we are going to talk about is the anaconda navigator um, it's weird to create virtual environment with anaconda because you don't create the environment within your project folders but rather you create it inside the anaconda 3 folder so if you just click on the emv over there or the base root uh it should be the base root over there then you can check out all of the root packages which has already been installed uh, along the installation of Anaconda but if you want to create a virtual environment you can do it with Navigator just click the create or clone button down you know the column the middle column of the Navigator or you can just open the prompts and type in the command Conda create dash dash name and then the name of your environment um, but you have to be careful with this is uh, just if you don't put Python behind it what you will get is simply just a copy of the base root environment so all of the packages installed along with Anaconda will be installed in your newly created environment so if you can see here just if I just like click it you will see all of uh, all of the packages over there but uh, it's just got some little problem i don't know why but the package is there just it's not showing but if i do a pip freeze with the prom you should see a whole list of packages were installed so if you want to delete the environment just click remove with the anaconda navigator then you should be fine with it i have already created an environment called env little it has scrape p installed in it but uh, I decided to just uh, make a brand new one over here just to show you guys how to create a Python only environment with Anaconda Pro. So all you need to do is just type Python behind the text which we have just entered. And what you get is just simply pure Python only environment. And then what you need to do because we're going to scrape little images from Reddit. So what we need is scrapey simply just type in the pip install scrapey then you'll get scrapey right away so now you have scrapey installed the next step is very simple just go to scrapey's uh, documentation there is a part called tutorial and just follow the very first you know the instruction and type in um, something like start start app and then the application name to create a folder inside your directory which will contains all the necessary files for scrapey to work so in my case i just type in scrapey start project scraping below and then we just wait for a few seconds it will create the necessary folders uh, with the files inside your directory so you just have to uh, change directory just cd to the top level of your project and then type in scrapey gen spider the name of the spider and the url which you wish to start with and then it will 
help you to automatically generate the spider python file inside the spider folder so later on you can just edit it to see what kind of action you like to pause um, and maybe you will also wish to just add in a few more urls we will be using pycharm in this series and you can see uh first step of course is to open a project so you just have to go to your path and then just choose the ultimate folder of your scrapey project just click ok then you'll see the uh all the structure on the left hand side just find the spider python file open it and you will see um, import scrapey being red line but uh, that's because we haven't chosen our own project interpreter yet so all you have to do is just go to settings project interpreter and then just go to your anaconda files go to the emvs choose our current virtual environment name is emv little scrape so we just go inside there uh, click on the python executable then it's just well it's good to go so now we just back to our little spider python file and we can see our scrape is now being recognized and there is this class called little spider spider inside which there is scrapey.spider thing inside that and the name is simply the name of this spider so when you call for a crawl with the anaconda prom then all you have to do is just crawl this name it will just recognize the thing and then do the crawling for you the allowed domain should be something just you know the head of your urls and the start urls is for if you are using just one urls or two you just create a list and then just yeah give it a go but uh, we'll be using something similar to the one inside the tutorial because i just want to make it more scalable so i just copy the code from it and then down below you can see the pass function where we will pass our commands and actions which we wish our spider to do so after all after the crawling we will get something we need in this case i will create an html file which contains all the images in it and then hopefully it can show up successfully so um, yeah so for now let's go to reddit and search for hello and then just click on the uh, the tag button and choose new and copy the link back to our urls in our little spider python file so the next step is to fill in the parse function so that we can get our job done um, the first question that comes into mind is what are the common features of all those photos that we wish to crawl um, they are all attributes and they all have some links so all we have to do is just inspect the source code of the html file and look for if there is any common in the herf of the attribute and fortunately there is and the next question is how can we convert such uh, information back into our pass so there is actually something called selector with the response and if you just check out this stack overflow post uh, down below uh, there is an answer um, which gives a solution to the problem um, it's actually pretty easy in this case just go with this starts with uh, and then just fill in something which you wish to detect from the, from the hyperlink so we just get the domain of that URL and then put it here and at the back we tell them that we actually need the herb and that's just it so now let's uh, comment out the uh, last section which is to create an html file with a file name so we comment that out first and let's test whether our selector is um, okay to scrape all of the little related images so from our prompt we can see we have successfully crawled all of the images url and we can also see that they are all in duplicate so when we are creating an html file for these hyperlinks we also have to ensure that the duplicates are removed so let's do this and see if our html can uh, display all of these successfully
thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time